Hey, hey, welcome to the workout. Today is leg day, mainly because I went swimming yesterday and now my shoulder feels a bit funky, so I feel like giving it a rest. But it's always good to have a leg day anyway because they need to be strong for everything. Whether you're going to try running more, whether you want to try swimming more, whether you're just going to be walking to work more or cycling to work, whatever it might be, you want strong legs. Okay? So, Here's how we're going to do it. We've got six moves today. We're doing it at a 40-20 work to rest ratio. So we're working for 40 seconds, resting for 20 seconds, and then going on to the next one. We're doing three rounds all together. So in total, that's only going to take just under 18 minutes. Now I've got a kettlebell with me for one of the exercises. You don't need one, so don't worry. Don't just not do the workout if you haven't got a kettlebell, because the alternative is going to be just as effective because if you haven't got a kettlebell, you're probably not ready to use a kettlebell anyway, so it's fine. So, we're going to get started. 20 seconds on that timer. And our first one, to get us nice and warmed up, get everything moving around the hips, is star twists. So legs out wide, arms out here, right hand comes down, touches your left foot, and then stand up and do the other side. So we're warming up all around the inside of the legs, the glutes, the hamstrings, and starting to use those hamstrings as well. So remember we're doing 40 seconds. So it's gonna take us a little bit more work. It's gonna be a little bit harder, but that's what we want. That's how we get better. Halfway through, first 20 seconds. <clears throat> First one done, warmed up a little bit. I'm gonna get down on the floor now for glute bridges. <clears throat> Laying on your back, arms out straight, heels by your fingertips. You're gonna push down into the floor, squeeze your bum and lift up. Get up and the way. Squeeze your bum, lift up, slowly come back down. So we're using mainly your glutes, your bum in this one, also your hamstrings as well. And then this is gonna pass us over to the next one. Okay, cool. Stand yourself back up. That's glute bridge just done. So we've started working the glutes and the hamstrings on everything so far. Now, if you've got a kettlebell, you're gonna grab that for the kettlebell Romanian deadlift. So what that looks like, separate your feet out a little bit, stick your bum out, lean back, nice straight back, and stand up. If you haven't got a kettlebell, just do the same with your hands there. Sticking your bum out and just practice the movement because it's very important movement to get. <clears throat> it's called the hip hinge, keeping your back straight, just moving from the hip. And you don't need to go too far so that you start rounding. We don't want that, we just want a nice straight back the whole time. I'm going to start using more of the front of the legs now. I'm going to start that with forward lunges. So, feet just about hip width apart, chest up nice and tall, take a step forward, lunge down, and push back, switch sides. Yeah, off we go. And if that's really wobbly, if you're kind of all over the place, slow down, break it down. Step, steady yourself, do the little lunge, push back, break it down, step, little lunge, push, and if you can, make a full movement all in one. Okay, 
cool. Number five, we've got body weight squats. So what we're gonna do, feet about shoulder width apart, heels about shoulder width apart, toes turned out slightly, chest up tall, stick your bum out, get as low as you can with a nice straight back. Now if you only get this low, that's fine. If you only get this low for now, that's fine, but you wanna try and get that a little bit lower each time. The more you use the range of that muscle, the harder that muscle has to work, and the more benefit you get from it. Remember, if we're working on weight loss, we're trying to use up more calories, use that principle of calorie balance, eat a bit less, move a bit more, what we're trying to do is consume fewer calories and use more calories. Whew, okay, or eat less energy, use more energy. Next one, high knees. Really going big on the energy on this one. We're gonna try and stay nice and light on the balls of your feet. So we're working on the calves. We're gonna lift the knee up, switch to the other side. If you need to, do this. If you can, give it a switch. Things like this and star jumps and mountain climbers, they always seem really easy at the start. And you got like 15 seconds left and you're like, oh my God, is it done yet? And those knees as high as you can. Right, that's one round done. Going back onto the star twist now. You might have to apologize to your neighbor after those high knees. Might be a bit noisy downstairs. Arms out. Off we go. And those high knees really take it out of you. Oh yeah, so like I said, I went swimming yesterday, and I'm crap at swimming, or at least I was really crap, until I decided, you know what, I'm going to do better than this, I want to be better at swimming, so I went on YouTube, found a video, just like you might have done for this one, of someone who knows what they're talking about, swimming coach, and just found out what most people do wrong why some people get to one length and they're exhausted like I was. And so yesterday I went to the pool, spent the first like, glute bridges by the way, spent the first 10 minutes just with me face in the water, not even swimming, looking like a weirdo. Practicing the breathing and it took a while, but eventually I felt like I got it. So then I did a length and it was horrendous again. But I tried a few more lengths, just took my time. And usually after one 20 meter length, I would be exhausted, I'd have to stop. But yesterday at the end, before I left, I managed to do three lengths in a row. And I wasn't absolutely exhausted. I was still tired, but it was so much better. And like I said, all I did and all you need to do for anything you wanna learn how to do, whether it's playing piano, losing weight, whatever, go on YouTube, find a video of someone who knows what they're talking about, and then just do what they tell you. Cool, cowbell, Romanian deadlift now. Anything you wanna do, all you have to do is find out from someone who knows how to do it, and then put in the work they asked me to put in. Because that's all they did. Anything you want to learn how to do, you absolutely can. I promise. You just gotta find the right way, and then do it. Whew. 
Okay, cool. Forward lunges now. I always forget I'm going to be really warm when I put that on in the morning. Terrible idea. Right off we go. Switching sides, chest up nice and tall. Do whatever you want with your arms. You know, if you want to, if you've got your kettlebell, and this is feeling really easy, then just hold it up on your chest here and add a little bit of weight to make it a bit harder. Squat now, heels shoulder width apart, toes turn out a little bit, knees are going to follow your toes and you're going to come back up, okay? Starting in five and after this round we'll make sure we get a drink for the last one, as low as you can and back up, squeezing those muscles in the legs as you come up, keep them squeezed at the top, don't just let them go loose. Last 10 seconds. Okay, cool. Next one, high knees, big energy. Try and keep those knees coming right up to your hands. You know, keep your elbow at 90 degrees. Try and keep it coming all the way up. Apologies in advance to your neighbor. And then we'll get going, ready? Hands up, and off we go. Keep those knees coming high. It's always funny watching these in a class. You see people's hands going down every time, and you're like, nah. Keep your hands in the same place, and keep those knees coming high. Like I said, we're working on the calves, staying nice and light on the toes. Oh. Uh, we'll just fix that mat, quickly grab some water. After two rounds, we've got one more to go, six minutes left. I'm saying that. It's not even six minutes, because we're resting for a load of it. Oh, star bends, off we go. Whew. Take it nice and easy on this one. Try and get your breath back. Okay, so the video might have jumped there, because as I was halfway through this exercise, my phone started ringing, which is what's recording us right now. So I thought, I don't think the video is gonna keep filming there. Turns out, it didn't. So you have to start again. But don't worry, we're still on round three. On these star twists. And we'll change. On to glute bridges. So as I was saying before I got cut off, you know that little story I started telling you in round two? I just start doing that every time there's a round two call it second round story time just give you a little bit of a little bit of a story on what's going on in my life you know things I've noticed things I've realized or learned or picked up on that might help you just like half of my posts are online you know most of the stuff I post is like ah oh, that was interesting the people following me online, looking to lose weight. Probably benefit from knowing that. Just gonna share it with you. So why not do it in a workout? Make it a little bit more fun. 
just be like we're in the gym hanging out, you know, doing a little little workout together. Which we are basically, so you know, why not? So this week's second round story time is all about swimming. There's a lot of alliteration in that one. Who knows what it'll be next time? Maybe it'll be about Christmas. Oop, deadlifts, off you go. Ah, sticking your bum out, nice straight back. Ooh, ah, squeeze your bum. Squeeze your bum at the top. And then do it again. Whew. Remember, you want a nice straight back. You don't want any of this, because you'll just hurt yourself. And remember, if you've got no kettlebell, you're just holding it here. Practicing that movement, so that when you do get a weight on it, you already know what you're doing, you've already got that pattern and you're just making it harder. Okay, cool. Two to go, forward lunges, sorry, three to go, forward lunges and bodyweight squats and the high knees to finish. So let's get ourselves ready for our forward lunge. Whew. Starting in five seconds, nearly done, and then I'm making me breakfast. Which is gonna be chicken sandwich because <clears throat> normally I make a smoothie, put some protein in it, <clears throat> but last week I ran out of protein. <clears throat> so I've been having yogurt and granola, but I'm feeling a bit sick of it. So we got some chicken breast in the fridge, gonna make a chicken sandwich. And you might be thinking, oh, chicken sandwich, that's not breakfast food. Thing is, your body doesn't know what breakfast food is. Your body doesn't care what time of day it is. Your body doesn't think it's too early for bloody steak or whatever you're going to have. It just wants food. It's you that thinks, ooh, I can't have enough for breakfast. And that just makes your life harder because you're just limiting your options. No, whatever you want, it's fine. And yeah, it might feel a bit bodyweight squats next, by the way. Your stomach might feel a bit, ooh, that's a bit weird. Don't normally do that for breakfast. But that's exactly the reason why, because you don't normally do that. If you do, if you start having different things for breakfast, it'll be fine. It's just like I was saying to somebody who's doing a big bike ride next year, the other day, you gotta make sure you get yourself used to eating on the bike. So if you're doing over a hundred miles, you're gonna need food. So you've got your little pockets on your back, you need flapjacks, bananas, stuff like that. And if your stomach isn't used to eating while it's moving, and then you try and do it on the day, you got no chance. Whew. Breakfast is the same, just get used to it. You can eat whatever you want, expand your options, and make life easier. But anyway, enough of that. We've got high knees to do, and then we're finished. So one last one, hands up high, chest nice and tall. Let's rock and roll. Try and make this one the biggest, most energetic set we've done yet. Try to stay nice and light on those toes. Try not to wake up your neighbor. I probably already have. Actually, when my phone went off before, I wondered if it was going to be him. It wasn't. Some random number from Grimsby. Last few seconds, nearly there. He, he knows. High knees. Woo! Okay. All right, forget it, we'll leave that. Done. 18 minutes, six moves, all on the legs. Hopefully, your legs are feeling good now. Feeling nice and warm, like we've had a go at them. And. These bits at the end always get me because I'm trying to think of things to say, how to wrap it all up, but I'm really tired so it's hard. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this workout. If you're watching on Facebook, give it a like for me, share it with your friends so they can all get involved as well. If you're watching on YouTube, again, click the like button, subscribe to the channel, make sure you see all the other workouts, and on the next screen that comes on in a minute, there'll be a link to all of the workouts in the little box that goes right about there. So that's everything. If, one last thing, you would like to receive a couple of emails from me through the week, 
with podcast updates, new episodes, new workout updates, letting you know when they come out, and just general top tips from throughout the week of all my best bits of advice to help you look, feel, and live better. Click the link that'll be down in the description of the video to go and join my free newsletter. And then just pop your email in and you'll start getting those straight away. Like I said, thanks for watching this video. Thanks for joining me for this workout. And I'll see you in the next one.